All right, my favorite time of the year is here. It's yard sale season. It's a uh, Saturday afternoon. I uh, went till about uh, I don't know 11:30 or so from uh, uh, 7:30 and uh, picked up some scores. And here's here's my freshly acquired junk to me. Um, this is supposed to be a running six-horse outboard, and it is a shuttle shift. It's not a start and go, so it has the forward and reverse on it. I haven't played with it yet, but uh, it ran at one time. Long shaft, whopping two dollars I paid for that. Uh, I think the prop is worth twenty-five bucks alone, so I'll service that and clean that up. Also, we got. got uh, I moved the washer and dryer during the uh, winter time, so where the old washer was, the hookups still work, but there's no sink in the basement. So I grabbed a sink for a buck. And uh, uh, running fully operational single stage snow blower, five horse electric start. Uh, what they have on it, 45. Yeah, 45, I grabbed that for 30 bucks. A pole trim saw, Echo. And that thing extends to like, uh, I don't know, probably 12 feet or so. That's that center section, you just kind of crank open and pull the pole out, and then it has a uh, solid shaft that runs down to a, um, it looks like a, I don't know, a 10 inch blade, 12 inch blade, something like that. And of course, it's got the oiler up in the head of it there. That thing runs nice. Only used a couple of times. Uh, that was 80 bucks, but it's worth it. It's a good unit, you know. It's a commercial one, not a, uh, a homeowner style. Uh, that's another piece. Also, I grab some stuff over here. A bunch of boxes of uh, dry, uh, sh dry, I don't know what you want to call them. Galby screws, use them for whatever. A buck for a bunch of boxes. A little free pile. Old uh, air powered style Ooga horns for a buck. That ought to go good on the trike because the horn on there is wimpy. A set of mirrors um, for the trike, also. Probably Harley mirrors or something, takeoffs from something. But uh, they actually ended up being free. Got them thrown in with a, uh, uh, a leather jacket from Mama that was 10 bucks. Really nice riding jacket uh, made in the USA kind of deal. A, um, I think call it an inspection lamp or a uh, magnified lamp. I'll throw that up on the bench, good for kind of doing carbs and all. That was also free. It's got a broken piece of plastic on the head. Shouldn't be a good deal to fix. This guy right here is a uh, impact drill. Grab that for uh, 10 bucks. And check out this sucker. Usually you always see those small chucks. That thing is huge. But I do have a drill press that's missing the uh, a chuck on it, and these guys will do it. Actually, it's like a set, huh? Here's the smaller one. No idea. But again, yeah, that was ten bucks. Nice. I rented one last uh, year just to uh, move my lift over about 18 inches. It's 46 bucks for four hours. Of course, I needed it for a half an hour, but so be it. So that was ten bucks. What else did I get? Oh, I played with this thing. Got it running yesterday. Lo and behold, it only has third gear. So that sucks. And then I called the guy up and said, hey, you forget to tell me something? I said, oh, my son used it last. And he was pulling a roller around with it. One of those big old water filled or cement filled rollers. Ah, uh, that would do it. <laughs> so I paid 40 bucks for it. He's going to kick back 20 bucks towards me. So I'm in it for 20 bucks to go play with it and do whatever I want with. Um, so. That's what it is. Oh well. Maybe I'll make a go-kart or something out of it. I, I like the body. The body, it, it's, it looks like, um, to me it looks like uh, one of those little Mustang go-karts. Uh, just the way the fender flares and stuff are. So I might just make something out of it. I'm not sure. I did ride it around in third gear. It was kind of funny. I had a battery charger connected to it. And uh, a jumper pack rather. <laughs> and I'm playing with the gears. It has no gears. And I. 
I, I bump it into one gear that I did have was third gear. The sucker took off, dragged me across the yard, dragged the battery pack across the yard. Finally, I grabbed it and stuffed it in neutral, but I was able to get it. Uh, the neighbors were clearing the shed out yesterday. The shed is all nice and empty. So I can uh, start, I think on Monday, today, Saturday, Monday, I'm gonna start dragging that thing over. And uh, I'm gonna, as I said, yank these trees right out of here and I'm either gonna tie my truck to a tree and then use the winch on the front of it and uh, scab on some, uh, probably just some wood underneath it or skis after I spin it around and uh, drag that over. And it's 12, it's uh, eight by 16, not eight by 12. Uh, eight by 12 that I thought it was. So it's even bigger than I expected. So that's on the list. What else is going on? Had a fire last night, it was nice. Wind just kind of picked up a little bit, but uh, be able to clean up, walk around the yard, clean up some brush and uh, burn that off. And uh, Mama's fountain dried all up and uh, she just got done filling that up with water. So our fountain's all up and going. Came out nice. Still want to paint the eyeballs up. There's lights that come on at night. Over on the wall over there, I have a, uh, a timer that just kind of, it senses light and dark. And uh, automatically I have some of that rope lighting on the inside of it that lights the whole thing up and just kind of shimmers up on it. Well, that's what we got. Just a little update for today. I'm going to go play with some of my stuff. See if I can go get that uh, outboard to fire up. And uh, of course, uh, I have a feeling that the missus is going to want me to take some uh, limbs down now that I bought a limb saw. I'm my own worst enemy sometimes. Make more work for myself. <laughs> but, what the hell? So that's her for a day. I'm gonna do a, uh, a smash video pretty soon. This stove is going to the scrap. And uh, I think I might visit the backhoe and uh, we'll do a little smushy on that. See how big of a little ball we can kind of crush that thing up into. And uh, parts came in for the Mustang. I was waiting for the uh, belt line moldings because the the windows kind of flapping in the breeze and of course you know that kind of makes for uh, an ugly detail but um, they came in my belt lines so I may go play with that uh, probably Tuesday uh, I think Wednesday and Thursday are supposed to get rain so I'll, I'll kind of play in that stuff or in the garage and kind of work on the shed uh, Monday and Tuesday Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more action at Musty's <laughs> Scrapyard. Take care.